It's just that essay that Garrison assigned us. What I want to be when I grow up? I don't like thinking about what I want to be when I grow up. <laughs> oh my gosh. He's crying because over Because when that? I grow up, I want to be something that I know I can never be, Stan. <laughs> He's being the... Why? Him, I know. Man. I want to be a NASCAR driver, okay? Oh. When I see the car races on TV, those loud engines and peeling wheels. It's so cool. Peeling wheels. <laughs> Look at me. Oh. You really think someone like this? He means because he's overweight. Lose weight, you lose weight, you Right? You've got plenty of time in your life. NASCAR is only for poor and stupid people. I don't have what it takes. What? <laughs> what? He's so, saying he has to be poor and stupid? So this and NASCAR fans and people like NASCAR? Oh my gosh. Hey, kitty. You love NASCAR, huh? <laughs> oh my <laughs> gosh. Kenny sounding it's poor. Hopeless. I was going to say, I don't think he's Carson, stupid. No. You are no. stupid. And you are stupid. Huh? I know you're trying to make me feel better, Kyle, but a rich smart kid has no place on a racetrack. Dude, you are so retarded. Thanks, Dan, but even if I was, I'd still be too rich. <laughs> are you rich? Your mind right? is for everything. I believe that you're a broke, ignorant idiot. <laughs> Maybe I can make myself believe it, too. Oh, my gosh. It's like, in a weird way, they talked him up, but... Yeah. I want you to take all my money. Yeah, that boy got a bunch of quarters saved, though. That is a lot of money. Yeah. Cents. You're giving away all your money? Right? Get rid of it, Butters. Don't tell me where you spend oh. it. Oh. Don't ever let me have it back. Because he thinks he needs to be poor. What? Oh, snap. I'm going to get as poor and stupid as I possibly can. Oh, That's my gosh. That's going to drive No. <laughs> but in Cartman's head, it is. Yeah. Hello. Excuse me. I know that you NASCAR people don't have very much. We could have donated, like, Like, break is it, like, what? Ain't good to him. Aw, that's so sweet of Butters, but it's yeah, like it is, not but, yeah. really properly placed. What's he doing? I guess so the blood, is this the way he's going to do sit-ups? I guess so, you know, blood can rush to his brain, and I guess he think he'll oh, he think that make, make him more stupid. dumb. I need to get stupid, Butters. I'm getting all the blood to rest in my head and watching a marathon of two and a half men. Hey, that's a hot oh cross. my <laughs> gosh. She thinks this is going to make him dumb. Yeah. Feel stupid yet? Not yet. <laughs> feel stupid? Not yet. <laughs> I is there yet. a way to feel that though? To stop feminine itching and remove <laughs> vaginal odors. Wow! All those ladies had stinky vaginas. If you develop an allergic reaction, see your doctor. In some cases, Vagisil can lead to short-term memory loss. Oh no, he's gonna try Vagisil because it said short-term memory loss. Yeah. Oh my God, butters. We need Vagisil. Oh no. Vagisil, Vagisil Maximum Strength, Vagisil Wash, Vagisil Medicated Wax. Look that way, make sure the cashier doesn't... He's gonna try it? Please don't tell me he's gonna eat it. He's gonna eat it. <gasps> Ew! This boy gross, y'all. Nasty. Oh. oh my god, this boy is gonna... Hartman! He's gonna be sick, man. Really, really sick. He's about to go to the hospital, y'all. Little boy, what are you doing? Yeah. Oh my god, butters. I feel kind of stupid. Really? <laughs> I'm feeling totally stupid. It's right funny now. how these two kids just walking around and going into stores I and stuff know. like that. And right, like, like no one thinks about it without yeah. parents. You're right. That's a good boy. They do it all the time in this show, though. Excuse me, Mr. Evans, sir. Your, uh, your wife is on the phone and she just got raped. What? No. What? She, got, she got raped a lot. And you gotta go talk to her. A lot. So Cartman's gonna get in his car. What? But you have no driving experience. That is crazy. This is a horrible idea. I'm totally poor and stupid. I'm ready for NASCAR. Poor and stupid? No. Stupid. Yeah. Let's go, NASCAR! Yeah, your feet can't even reach the bottom. He doesn't even know pedal. how to do this. I think you gotta push the gas pedal. What's that? There's like a long pedal on the floor by your right foot. Okay. Then now you need a bit of gear to see now. Nope. Boy. Actually. <laughs> Oh my god, I feel like he's gonna get in so much trouble. Yeah. Now he's going backwards. Oh no. It'd be crazy if everybody just left. If everybody just like, no. left. No. It, it went into the stands. He was about to come. He's taking out people, boy. Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh, Cartman. That was pretty idiotic. Yeah. Now you're not gonna lie on that one. All the effort I put in, I still wasn't poor and stupid enough to win. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I feel like he thinks that's it, really. What you did was hella stupid. Yeah. Really stupid. Dangerous. I've given away 
All my money. Drink enough Vagisil to kill every brain that I have. <laughs> How bad is it, Doctor? He has two fractured ribs, a broken femur, torn ligaments in both knees, and a level two concussion. He also appears to be developing three small vaginas in his stomach, but... What? <laughs> in your stomach? You mean all that the vagina stuff? Put a plug on me, Doctor. I don't want to live like this. You aren't on life support. Pulling a plug wouldn't do anything. <laughs> yeah. It's crazy. <laughs> the doctor's talking to him, and it's like he's not asking where their parents are, or, you know, it is crazy. It's got to be the stupidest thing I've ever heard of a kid doing. <laughs> Thanks, Doc, but you aren't going to make me feel any better. No, really. Of all the idiotic, dumb ways I've seen kids injure themselves, exactly. yours takes the retard cake. Said so now, went from stupid to retard. That's crazy. Only lost the race because I somehow wasn't poor enough. It has to be, Eric. <laughs> I wasn't poor enough? Bro. You have a broken femur. You couldn't stand on that. No. Nah. <laughs> what is your boy? It's crazy. I know. You're watching Colorado Fox 11. Next on Fox 11 News. Do you think that's crazy? NASCAR he thinks you have to be poor to be a NASCAR fan? So, it's not yeah. cheap to go to the races. No. Like, all those fans? Like, they're not poor. No. And snuck onto the track, killing 11 people. <gasps> Tom, the NASCAR fan, got into a car here on Sunday and crashed in the lake behind me. He will try to do it again, but that this time, he'll win. <laughs> so, Kenny's going to try to be a driver now? No, I think Kenny's he's just pissed. mad. Like, I feel like he knows it was Cartman. Yeah, he knows, yeah. And he's mad about it. Where's Carmen's mom this whole time? She's never around. Right. Oh, hey, Kenny. Come See? Here. I want to show you what I've been working on. What do poor people do? Buy things even though they don't what? have money. How do you buy these things? things that are 0% down and no payments for two years. That's how you people stay poor forever. Am I right? That's it, right? No. <laughs> I've had to become poor all on my own, you know? Uh. I wasn't born with a plastic spoon in my mouth. What? I've had to go he goes, what? <laughs> Eric Cartman? Yeah? My name is Jeff Hamill. I'm the founder and CEO of Vagisil. Ew. Ah, uh, uh -huh. that's the guy that owns it. Young man, your NASCAR stunt has brought a lot of attention to Vagisil, and honestly, I don't know how to thank you. Is he good? Yeah. He's probably, probably made their stocks yeah, go up and everything. Probably so. Which is sad. I first created Vagisil for my wife, Patty. She's my muse, <laughs> my flame. We realize that NASCAR can do a lot for product recognition. Oh my so, gosh. Vagisil has a little present for you. Don't tell me they gave him a race car. They did. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and it's Vagisil, so he's going to drive the Vagisil like Sweet. NASCAR yeah. car. Yeah. Vagisil would like you to represent us in the next NASCAR race. Dude, he ain't going to be the drive. You can't like, even realize it's the, the kid. He calls. <laughs> and we've modified the cockpit to okay. be operated properly by a child. <laughs> oh, this makes it so much better and yeah. safer. Only Cartman, man. Only Cartman. So I kind of wonder if they making fun of like um, Vagisil, people who use Vagisil or whatever type of. I mean, maybe a little bit. I don't know but if that's. Like, I don't know if that that's the next actual cream name. Or yeah, whatever. there is one that. Called okay. That, yeah. So I wonder if they making like fun of it, and on I top mean, of that, they making fun of like NASCAR like fans. Oh, they're definitely making fun. You know what I'm saying? Like NASCAR they're saying fans, like they're not smart or something like that. It's like crazy. Well, I think it's a fine track, you know, that the techs have done a really good job of making sure the banks are grafted down to the right specs and there shouldn't be any problems. Yeah, we like the track, yep. We got to grab the banks and specs, it's like an oval, so we're going to drive straight and then we're going to be turning to the lamp. Oh, Eric. Of course, any time you're dealing with high humidity and temperatures, you need to compensate your brake fluid, but the plates themselves... Compensate your brake fluid and get your, get your <laughs> brake working. These guys actually know what they're talking about. Yeah. Like, you have to know cars. I'm just as poor and stupid as you. I'm gonna grab... I don't, and none of these drivers are gonna be poor. Anything. Like, they make so much money. Why car trying to sound country? Like, he's like... I don't know. Yeah, like, none of them NASCAR drivers sound that way. Oh, my gosh. You kidding me. All right, having a couple drinks. <laughs> it's probably all water. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know about y'all, but this President Obama is pissing me out. <laughs> oh my gosh. Vagisil regular strength anti itch cream. Ew. Uh, yeah, that's a big digger right there. Wants to put a bigger tax on gasoline. <laughs> what the? Obama's gay as hell. He's being well, so stereotypical, yeah, which yeah. I don't expect anything different from Cartman. No. Nah. You know, I first created Vagisil to try and help my wife, Patty. <laughs> she is my muse, my flame. Why does he keep bringing her up? Yeah, like all the time. Like... I know. Her hand clears the room and makes it uninhabitable for weeks. 
Okay, well, the race is about to start, so why don't we kick it back down to the track? Gentlemen, start your engines! This is going to be interesting. Yeah. I mean, at least he can see now. All right, yeah. Stop. But no, I mean, he, he doesn't know how to drive. Driver. Is he stupid or what? Yeah, he's a champion, all right? Champion of being he's stupid. He's a champion, all right. No, no, see, this won't do. You can't bring a sniper rifle onto the track. Who's he gonna try to take Carmen out? Put it back. Look, NASCAR's trying I don't to change a good its image. It's people like you that are giving NASCAR a bad name. <laughs> I think it's Carmen giving yeah. NASCAR a bad name. I still can't get over how the hell it was in, was in that bag. bag. I know. Yeah, I'm gonna press the gas pedal and I'm gonna go forward. <laughs> oh gosh. Look, more destruction. He's already running into everybody. Yeah, get the base lamp. I'm gonna hit the. Oh gosh. Oh, what the f are you doing? You Danica Patrick. Uh, <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh no, I mean, he's already taken her out. She needs to get out of the car. Oh, she will. And it looks like the Vagisil car has already clipped two other drivers and taken them out of the race. Vagisil is a company that really stands behind its product, Chris. <laughs> what? <laughs> it's all you can talk about. Well. Every day. What if Cartman actually wins somehow? Yeah, he might. No way. Well, if you keep bumping into people, he will. He's going to take her out. Oh, my gosh. Oh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, no. <laughs> hey, <buddy. laughs> he keeps just taking people oh my out. Gosh. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> How has he not gotten in more trouble? I'm back on the track. Oh my gosh, Kenny just jumped on top of his car. Yeah, the roof of the car. <laughs> this has just gotten real bad. Yeah. Oh no, he's into the pit crew. Oh my gosh. just about everybody, man. Oh, Cartman. Sorry, dude, I'm winning this race. With the brake. <gasps> well, well, they're always they killing Kenny, Kenny aren't yeah. they? Oh Jesus, there's a little boy on the track. Okay. No, they just took out the final two people. All the other drivers have crashed and only Carmen the Carmen is the only one. This is such a great day for Oh Patrick my gosh. Chris. Our product awareness will be at an all-time high. Very diligently. <laughs> And she's gone. I guess maybe his wife has a huge older. I guess that's what he's insinuating. And he's whether everybody. she does or not. She got into a it car. It looks like a woman is trying to take over for is Jimmy Johnson's he, he car. To, like, run over. What? She's going to try to like run over Cartman or destroy his car or something. I with don't the know. It's extremely dangerous. Let me talk to him. the kids, Ralph. <laughs> right, exactly. But no one's questioning Cartman. Patty, pull over the NASCAR. You're acting around. She can do better good. than Cartman's going to do. Patty, did you forget to take your medication? <laughs> you know how you get when you don't use your badges. There should be some in your purse, my dudes. <laughs> Sounds like she's done with him. Oh, yeah, yeah, heck yeah. Yeah, a lot of people who watch NASCAR, I'm, I'm guessing the majority of the fan base is people in the South, I'm assuming, like Southerners. I don't, maybe there is a lot, but that's what they're insinuating. Yeah. But that may just be a stereotype that they're predicating here. Oh, my ass again. <laughs> <laughs> well, she took him out. Yeah. <laughs> that's the end of the She's like, I'm done with you. No, no, Kenny, go ahead. It is. I deserve it. I thought I could just waltz onto a racetrack and do what these people do. But I owe you an apology. Obviously. The truth is, I'm just too smart. And I'm too smart. smart. I knew he was going to say that, though. I just have to accept I'm too smart and rich for NASCAR. The scary thing is to give it up. he actually right, thinks he's smart. Yeah. That's what's so scary. $58.32 I gave you. I want it back. <gasps> What? Oh no! Now butter is gonna no. You're in the mountains. Kyle! <laughs> what the heck? Four young boys in Colorado. Did they lose the Kyle? Yeah. Ah, I can't take it. They can't take Nobody this anymore. Oh, oh gosh! Yeah. And Cartman's hanging. 
This sounds like a um, horror movie. Though. Not a horror movie. It sounds like, like the a, intro to a show. Like a uh huh. It's totally what it is. Yeah. It's like a I survived yeah. episode. I should have never gone zip lining. <laughs> this is totally like I survived. I think. Yeah. Oh man. <laughs> yep. Wow, Over four yeah. hours. This is a true story. <laughs> This is totally what this is like. I think this oh, is hilarious. We really had spent the whole spring break watching TV and playing Xbox, you know, so we wanted to go out and do something really adventurous. I mean, that's what a lot of kids do on a spring uh, break, pretty true. much. Unless you go on a vacation, but yeah. Yeah, with parents, yeah. Look at his lip. You got herpes, dude. What? <laughs> herpes? <laughs> now, cold sore is what girls call it, Kenny. It's actually herpes. Look, well, guys, he's wasting away. What would be Bro, how do you really know? Cool Why you're, you're a kid? And then, like, out of nowhere, somebody came up with the idea of zip lining. I think there's a place just outside of town. I'll see if my uncle Jimbo will drop us off. Cool. I feel like at their age they need parents with them. Yeah, I don't think they let kids do like this. No, you thing, need you know? like an adult guardian. Because they're like nine years old, so. Re no, I think you can go, but you would need a guardian with you, a parent. Yeah, to go that young, okay. Well, I'm sure you need a guardian, but. Yeah. You got herpes, dude. I almost touched it. Uh. Sick. Oh, sick. Uh. <laughs> 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 well, I was trying to make oh fun of you. Oh gosh, I know. It's a fever blister. <laughs> you sound like a chick, Kenny. That's herpes, dude. You got that till you die. And look, they 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 in the back of somebody's truck and stuff. I, uh, I kind of wonder they, they just like. He said his uncle or something. He said All Uncle right, Jimbo or something. Some helmets and some gear, and we'll get up there and hit that fresh nard. Hundred dollars per trip. How are these kids gonna do that? This guy, he's yeah. automatically just gonna give them like all the gear they need to go zip line. He ain't asking where their parents is it. Well, exactly. Take a seat with the others. What? And we were like, others? We have to do this with other people? <laughs> so you're gonna do it about Hi, yeah. Hi. What is that? She's pregnant? pregnant? What? Girl! Ten-year-old Stan Marsh. The realization that he will be with a tour group <laughs> has caused his adrenal gland to slow oh. down. The average human acts a certain way when surrounded by friends and family. But in a tour group, the brain has to work overtime. <laughs> this is nice so silly. Yeah. About people on the tour. <laughs> Welcome to Backcountry Adventures. Well, hey there, Michael. Hey there, Michael. Oh my <laughs> gosh. And the adults all laugh at yeah. it. It was, I don't know, 10, maybe 15 minutes of pure hell. I said it's pure hell, boy. Don't forget to take in the NAR. Back to you, Michael. But here's the thing. Did they listen to anything they were told on there? Probably, Probably not. not. I have a question. Could we review the best ways to hold the rope again? Really? You're going to make us all listen to it again because you couldn't understand? Really? <laughs> <laughs> well, it looked like the kids was paying attention more than adults were. Yeah. One person just really has, like, a small child with them. Yeah. Everyone just step on in the shuttle. Shuttle? <laughs> Why did they... Go, they might to be the the finish, like, it's about man. 45 minutes. 45 minutes? <laughs> <laughs> and now just the word shuttle makes Kyle's brain fire neurons that bring up memories of just how lame shuttles can be. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> They're making this like such a big deal. Yeah. All right, guys, should be about 45 minutes to the freshest nar, nar. 45 minutes. That's what he said, yeah. Whoa. Well, my name's Pete Nichols, and this is my wife, Donna. And, uh, make a long story short, we came out here to see our relatives who live down in Moab. They have uh, been living there about 20 years now, and uh, long story short, they told us that as long as we were in the Rockies, we should try zip lining. So, long, long story, story short, <laughs> we looked around in the newspaper. <laughs> this boy loves I know, long he keeps story saying story. that too. Make a long story short, we found this company and thought we'd give her a try. I feel like it was just going to be, and this is why we're here. It's funny because it, it's probably people out there that say the same thing like that all the time. Yeah, long story short. Last night, Eric Cartman uh. had Kung Pao spaghetti from California Pizza Kitchen. Uh. Inside <laughs> Eric's stomach, the Kung Pao has just met with the Del Taco. So he now he got to use it now. The Del Taco he had for breakfast. Of barbecue BK toppers what? that have been building up for months. Jeez. Yeah, boy, that boy, he, he's going to have to take a yeah. major dump. Eric is major. ingesting massive I amounts of Mountain Dew. That's what they're the saying. A storm is brewing. The fast food Ooh. What they mean? Into a toxic gas. Ew. Before toxic? Fecal matter. Ew. Matter which well, but yeah. <laughs> into Kyle's nasal passage. No way. You, did you fart? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> so this is going to cause Kyle to have some kind of medical emergency? Yeah, probably so. You know, it's worse than man the ones that be like silent, man. Mm-hmm. Woo. Silent, but deadly. All 
Alright, remember to keep your hands clear of the cable and just let you I bet he doesn't remember any of it. When you zip line, how long was yours? Like, how long you was, like, going down? Well, you go on several different parts, usually. So like, five minutes, ten minutes? You're only going down for, like, 20 seconds. Oh. But you do, like, to different, like, platforms yeah. and different, so the total thing can be longer. Zip line! Zip line! <laughs> Shaka, bro! Looks so slow. <laughs> Where was the camera? I was saying, and there should be somebody oh, meeting right, him. Nice zip. Zip line. He's a zip line. He's all into it, y'all. Why are they zip not line. into this? Jacobra. It was like having the life sucked out of you. What? Dang. He really hated it. So huh? they didn't like it? I guess not. Kind of fun, maybe. But this was just a complete disaster. Uh, uh. After a grueling 20 minutes, waiting for everyone else to ride oh, the that, zip line. That would, would take a while, yeah. That would make it boring, like, yeah, we fall these people to get down. Time. And that is when the unthinkable happens. Uh-oh. All right, guys, let's get moving. Only 10 minutes to our next zip line. What the heck is going to happen? 10 minutes to the next zip line? What? Like, they, like they're going to drive? I guess, yeah. This is a zip line tour. We got 16 more to go. And it was like, wham. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone back in the show. Yeah, so what? Okay, that's not normal. They don't normally like drive from spot to spot. They gotta be making fun of a real zip line instructor. Or Must whatever, be yeah. or a guy. <laughs> Have you ever dealt with like an um an instructor or a guy like that? I don't know. Oh, yeah. How to zip line, he would just like. This is crazy because it's not. A experience. It's not just going zip lining, but it's like a whole tour about like yeah. the area. Trapped in an unforgiving mountain wilderness with a tour group. But you know, Trapped in long story a short, I woke up mountain. this morning. And <laughs> this guy is going yeah, right. Another picture of us. <laughs> the fourth graders are in a nightmare. <laughs> oh, this is hilarious. Yeah. Yeah. Will they try to abort this somehow and get yeah. hurt? Hey, we gotta get out of here, man. This is like a horror flick for us, man. There's nobody yeah. around for miles. There could be a helicopter. Maybe one will fly overhead. Face it, Stan. Nobody's coming for us. It's like they're gonna be trapped out there with this tour, basically. Yeah. And they might leave. That's probably. like the whole story is that they're like. This morning, I know. Let's all go zip lining. We never done that before. Nobody remembered. It was me who came up with the idea to go zip lining. <laughs> Is that Eric's body is already shutting down from stage four diarrhea? <laughs> oh, oh boy. but it hasn't happened yet. But Angus, in the average human, I guess so. this would only cause mild diarrhea. But Eric Cartman is now drinking Double Dew, a Mountain Dew product with double, double dew. sugar and caffeine of regular Mountain Dew. And he was drinking Mountain Dew before. Yeah. Converting to a thick paste, the diarrhea shoots out of Eric's anus and into his underwear. Oh my! Ew. He's kind of is a taking li li a little bit of a crap right now. Did you just shit your pants? Yeah. No. He did a little he, bit of it. Yeah. Gross. Oh, oh my god! This, this, it's gonna be nasty when it fully come out, boy. Yeah. I mean, at least he's in the wilderness and he could just mm. go hide somewhere. You guys, seriously, <laughs> something's wrong in my tummy. Yeah, stop drinking it's that. Yeah. Drinking double do fat. This is diet double do, Kyle. Diet, diet double, double do. do. Sugar of double do. Half, half the sugar. sugar. Half the caffeine, double to do. Oh, man, you guys, I gotta get to a bathroom fast. You're in a forest. Go take a car. Yeah, just go, go find anywhere. The blood will attract beavers, Cal. Suddenly, Stan says he knows about some horse stables. It, it seemed too good to be true. So they're gonna try to... Okay. Straight. You want four horses, one for each of you? Yes, please. Well, I think we can set you up. They're not gonna have What's any this? idea how to get man. home. Oh. Step right out here, we'll get you going. Oh, <laughs> Four young boys in Colorado. <laughs> they should have just stayed with what they were doing. Yeah. That is only allowed to travel four miles an hour. <laughs> Can we four please miles go an hour? <laughs> <laughs> they all look like they're about to like pass out. Yeah. Turkey sandwiches and dad double do. It's the same no, exact anyway, thing. Long story short, I was born in 1950. Yeah, he's Wait, it too. Long story right, short. Right, is this the same guy? No, I don't it's think a it different was. guy. I should have never thought horseback riding would be any better than <laughs> ziplining. Yeah, but you say this, this, this is a parody off of what again? Uh, it, it seems like I survived or something, or one of those like survive story. Like, yeah, there's no guy. What, what is a parody off of? It really feels like that. Kyle, Kyle, come on, wake up. Just go. Go without me. No, we're not leaving <laughs> you. Go without me. I can't take it anymore. Why do people say long story short? 
<laughs> well, they're trying to make the story short. Yeah. Watching Kyle die and I wanted to tell him the truth right then and there. Watching him die? There's a lake a hundred yards down that way. They've got a marina with boats just sitting there. A marina? We can take a boat, you guys. We okay. Probably take it all the way back to Fair Play. How are you gonna do that? Come on, you guys. A boat if it's on the lake, it's fine. not gonna go gonna like down the mountain. No. This is crazy. All this stuff. Four doing. young boys in Colorado are on a trip from hell. <laughs> oh, this is like the human version of, of the yeah. power, which it is, is only allowed to go five miles an hour. The fourth graders the are in a here. nightmare they cannot escape. They, they don't wow. even look like a fourth grader. Four, four out. Ew! Beavers! Beavers! <laughs> Because no they said before, then the remember Cartman in the woods said, "I can't. It'll track the beavers yeah. or something." Men's diarrhea and fighting off beavers. The boys have made a terrifying discovery that boating is just as boring as ziplining. If the boys fall asleep now from the lack of excitement, they could die. They could die. Yeah. Everyone drinks some Mountain Dew. I don't know. I just thought if we all drank the Mountain Dew, the, the caffeine and the sugar would help us stay awake. I told Cartman he had to share it. I'm not sharing with Kenny. He has herpes. <laughs> well, you can drink it like this. Uh. Are on a trip from hell. <laughs> oh, oh. Have no, I'm <laughs> get any work. All got a cold sore, herpes, <laughs> Kenny McCormick has died of boredom. He <laughs> died of boredom. Oh they killed Kenny. You, you bastards. bastards! And finally, I couldn't hold it in anymore. I said, stop it! Stop it! It was me. My idea. <laughs> So you intended for us to go ziplining all along? Why, Stan? You thought it would be funny, he said that. Yeah. If you signed up three friends, you got a free iPod Nano. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> you killed Kenny. <laughs> bastard! You bastard, Stan! Oh, Snaps! <laughs> Oh my gosh. But then, miraculously, the it sounds boys like prayers Santa's are finally answered. It was a miracle. What? He came to save us. Right? Take us back home. You came for us, Mr. Hanky. Thank oh, Mr. Hanky. Ew. Yeah. Let's get you back home. <laughs> From the boat, the boys were airlifted aboard Mr. Hanky's magical helicopter. Magical. In the four hours oh since God. they had left Nasty. home. The boys had traveled so far <laughs> that Mr. Hanky then had to fly them on his 737. 737. Seven. <laughs> oh my gosh, how would they get that Duh. far away? Kenny McCormick's remains were finally brought home <laughs> oh, to man. his parents. The mail. The mail. And the boys received treatment for their herpes. No, I didn't get herpes. I just had a cold sore. Now you say you got a cold sore. Yeah. Days in the hospital. Having fecal matter removed from his nasal passages. Ew. Yeah. Stan Marsh dedicated himself to raising awareness about the boredom risks of zip lining. His awareness videos the became so popular risks. that Stan once again ended up jacking it in San Diego. What? <laughs> oh, yeah, I think that one episode he was jacking it. Oh. In just two weeks, he was back to drinking Diet Double Dew. Oh, of course he was. <laughs> to do the math. It's diet, dude. Diet soda doesn't give you diarrhea. Here we go. Thank you, Mrs. Garrison. Oh, gosh. My speech is entitled Ginger Kids. Oh, Children my with gosh. red hair, light skin, and freckles. <laughs> Creep us out and make us feel sick to what? our limits. I'm talking, of course, about Ginger Kids. Uh. <laughs> oh, sick. Gross. What? He is horrible boy for this man. Ah, nasty. Yuck. <laughs> this disease oh my God, is called boy. Gingivitis. And it gingivitis have no souls. They have no souls. What? Soul. Kids who have gingivitis cannot be cured. A lot of people who's not gingers, red hair got freckles, right? Because mm -hmm. I'm sure it's people. Yeah. It's not just that. It's just that people who are that pale tend to have more freckles. Freckles, yeah. yeah. Some people have red hair, but not light skin and freckles. These people are called daywalkers. What? Day <laughs> <laughs> I'm really having a difficult time with all these interruptions. Like a vampire that can walk in like Blade. It's not a presentation, it's a hate speech. Pretty much. He just pretty much just talking bad about people who read her. Kyle, if you want to debate, Eric, you can do so with your paper tomorrow. Fine.
mind. I will. Fine. In the meantime, shut your gut. Stay I can't believe he's letting this go as like it's a real, yeah. speed, real talk. And Kyle's probably got to come up with a new paper now. Yeah, well. That gingers are vile and disgusting. Oh my oh gosh. gosh. I will leave you with this. If you think that the ginger problem is not a serious one, think again. <laughs> who, who is that guy? Uh, it might have been Carrot Top. Wasn't it Carrot Top? Don't you understand what ignorant prejudice like that can lead to? I have to disprove yeah. Carmen's hateful rumors. It can lead to Anyone a lot of else would feel it if he was her. talking about them. I'm call it the horn pool. Yeah. Hey, well, I'm giving a speech tomorrow about people with red hair and freckles. Can I ask you a few questions? Sure, come on in. You know it's crazy, they got a red house. Oh yeah, you're right. <laughs> These boys want to know about us. Wait, are they adopted? I don't know. So I'm like, how did kids? we came to learn? I'm sure it's possible that people maybe, that can have, that's you know, very unlikely. Oh, yeah. Yes. Our... The fact that they got three kids with all red hair. Right. Actually, the odds of us having a red-haired, freckled child were only one in four. <laughs> right. Yeah, I had it three still times. Happened. Three times. <laughs> uh, yeah. What are the odds? Look at the mom. Did she cheat? <laughs> A lot of people carry the ginger gene and don't know. If your spouse is also a carrier, then your children can turn out like them. Oh my gosh, they say it like it's a horrible <laughs> it's like thing. My widow. <laughs> Which one of them's a blessing? A blessed blessing full of love. Thanks, Thanks mom and dad. dad. <laughs> it's, it's not true they have no souls. <laughs> They're trying to make it like it's a horrible movie. I it's know. Scary or They're looking at the kids like they can't say it in front of them. Have no souls. You really don't want to have ginger kids. Marry an Asian woman. Asians don't carry the recessive gene. I know a guy who's marrying a Japanese woman very soon for just that reason. What? <laughs> Dang! They act like it really is a bad so thing. So he knows somebody's gonna marry a Japanese woman because he believes she don't have no they, recessive gene. They don't carry gene. the recessive, recessive gene, gene for it. Yeah. A child's red hair is not determined by the lack of a soul. Yeah. But by the melanins which control the pigment in all of our skins. Thank you. What if like we evolved and stuff and people had natural like blue hair or uh, purple right. hair? That'd be kind of strange to see that. It would be strange because we're not used to not it. Used but to if it had been involved, we would have been used to yeah. it. So it wouldn't be strange, right? Yeah, it wouldn't be strange now, yeah. but to think about first with natural blue hair. Is, yeah. You know. But we know exactly how it would look like because people dye their hair mm -hmm. all different type of colors. Look, I'm just saying what everyone else already thinks. Gingers are creepy. He's just making night, stuff up. Yeah, he's making stuff up as he goes. The gingers are gonna get you. They're gonna get you. Uh, uh. It's about just like people red hair, or just about just cow in general. He's Who trying to make knows? Fun of. With Carmen, anything's possible. Can't eat the cafeteria. See? There, there you go. Not even, not even, um, Ginger kids eat the this guy. Yeah. Dang. Go on, beat him. Causing violence. Retug. That's how this stuff starts. Yeah. There. You see? This is what happens when Carmen is allowed his right to free speech. That's just wrong, dude. I wish Carmen could see what it felt like to be a ginger. Hey, uh, that's a great idea. <laughs> oh no, oh, what are they gonna do? Sure, for what? We're gonna teach that fat bastard a lesson. You can dye his hair in his sleep or something. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> he just looks like a brat the way he sleeps even. <laughs> All out of halfway out of the bed. Uh-huh. They could bleach his skin. Uh-huh, to make him a tattoo. They're gonna tattoo freckles. Knock him out. He's already sleeping. I think he would have woken up by now. Bro, he's just taking his frustration out of him. They said knock him out. They like wanted to knock him out unconscious. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is going to be so funny. Yeah, they, yeah, they glued his hair on, right? So I think they dyed it, it red. Oh, okay, you're right. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. <laughs> Popsicans? Popsicans. Sweetie, what is... Dang. Oh my god, Eric! Well, all his vital signs are still I normal. I know, what are they gonna see? Yeah. I would say he has these standard skin pigment deficiency. You mean? Yes, it's not, it's not I'm afraid smart. that your son is suffering from gingivitis. Oh my gosh. So I'm gonna stay like this forever? I'm sorry, son. <laughs> this car, it's such a horrible thing. thing. Like, what? This, car, I know this, this doctor is like... Difficult I know, crazy. I can't I believe that... Stand red -haired freckled. Kids, but They're all you need backing to up his theory. There is no yeah. cure. Your son will be ginger his whole life. <laughs> you might want to just put him down. I put knew him he's down. Excuse me, doctor, but it just so happens my mom loves me, no matter what I look like, right, mom? So she's gonna start hating him. She's gonna be like them, those other parents. <laughs> oh yes, of course. She didn't even answer for a minute. It's very important that you keep Eric out of the sun. The sun is his worst enemy. 
How's everything with you guys? I'm surprised he just doesn't wear a hat. You look good. Different. Cowboy, cowboy, boy. Right. Out, cow. I went to the doctor yesterday, and apparently I suffer from a small skin pigment deficiency. Is that an umbrella you're using? Yes, cow. <clears throat> the sun's rays are bad for my skin, so I need to be protected when I'm outside. <laughs> See, look, man, he's getting a taste of his own medicine now, mm -hmm. man. You know, hopefully. This would be a learning experience for him, not to like, you know, cause hate among a certain particular you type hope, of, you know, but people this is with Cartman. different type of hair. Yeah. Yeah. Cartman will never learn. Yeah, yeah, guys. Mm -hmm. Hey, make sure you hit the thumbs up button and subscribe. It definitely helps the YouTube algorithm. Let's get right back into it. And all that out of the way, and now we can just go on with our lives as normal. <sighs> it would be normal, huh? Wow, that's a little ironic, isn't it? Yeah. What do you mean, Cow? Well, I mean, all last week you were ripping on Ginger Kids and now right? you are one. Yeah. Hey, buddies. <laughs> <laughs> See, he like to dish it out, but he can't take uh, it. No, he can't at all. Maybe he'll actually learn a lesson this time. Nah, he'll never learn his lesson. <laughs> this boy, this boy, <laughs> laughing so hard, boy. That boy was crying, laughing. A little I bit. know it cracks me up though. What are you doing? <laughs> I'm grabbing. What's it look like? You're not supposed to be in the cafeteria. Huh? You know the rule. No ginger kids in the cafeteria. Uh, 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 <laughs> but it's me. Right. Yeah, but and you're ginger. You started this. Dude, yeah. Check it out. Guys. Okay, look, maybe I'm ginger, but I'm not like other ginger kids. They don't care. No, they're, they're like, hairy. no. I'm ginger kid in here, then the others are going to start coming. Yeah, beat it, j jackass. Uh, See, now he know what it feels like. Yeah. Man. Knows what it feels like to make fun of a person because of their appearance. I've called this meeting because I don't know about you, but I, for one, am sick and tired of being discriminated against. Just You've been doing it for so long. No, he's the one who started yeah, it. Yeah. Like you just started all person. of this, now you're going to fight against what you started? Kids at school laugh at us. Doctors call us genetically inferior. The world needs to know that we are people with feelings, and our parents love us for who we are. My dad says each one of my freckles is a kiss from an angel. Mm -hmm. Right, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Can't let this go on any longer. We should be proud of who we are. So do um people red hair most do a lot of them get picked on? You know, I, I don't really think know too so. many people I feel red like hair. Child. I don't know of anyone who ever got made fun of for red hair. Yeah. So, I'm I not gonna say they, they didn't, but yeah, I didn't know. I wonder if they do a parody yeah. or maybe bring like awareness to it. That we are in fact beautiful, totally awesome, and super smart. It's time for us to take back our pride. Yeah. See when it comes down to it, Cartman only cares about himself. Yeah. So it's like whatever affects him, basically. Yeah. You know, come out whatever affects anybody else. Exactly. Oh my god. We can get our proud people. We are the noble descendants of great Americans like Ron Howard and others. And we others. We can't be discriminated against any longer, for we are a great race. It's almost like a throwback how black people was treated. That's you know what, what I think it is civil supposed rights and stuff to be, like yeah. that. Yeah, but it's, you know, yeah. gender people now. Tom, I'm standing outside no, the Denver Center for the Performing <laughs> Oh, yeah, Arts. I didn't think about that. <laughs> has just premiered to cries of outrage. A rapidly... <laughs> ...role of Annie is being played by a girl who isn't actually red-haired and fresh. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. This is bullcrap. We true gingers are furious that the role of Annie is being minimalized. The bitch isn't ginger. She's just using Dang. makeup to look ginger, and pretending to be ginger with makeup is the worst thing anybody can do. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. There she is. Oh, yeah. I see. So they're making her ginger as the character. Yeah. You're not ginger, Dang. Oh, they had to do Dang. her like that. Dang. Gingers are really riled up. If you are a ginger and would like to join the ginger separatist movement, you can attend their separatist first meeting. No one's stopping him either. Yeah. Like you would think he would stop this. All those adults. Yeah. Well, right. What happens when he's not ginger anymore? Is he gonna go back to hating him? Yeah. And if there's one thing I've learned, it's that the only way to fight hate is with more hate. Oh snap! Oh my god! More hate. Yeah. Gingers are the chosen people, the chosen race, and we must view the rest of the world as the lowlife, dark skin, and rats that they are. I don't get how Cartman always gets so many people to follow him. Yeah, he kind of radicalized him. Yeah. Need any buffet items restocked? Everyone okay on coffee? We're fine. <laughs> Great. Oh, hey guys. Just wanted to say thanks for choosing the airport Hilton for your conference. You're welcome. Now leave us alone. I envision a world in which there is no hate. A world where everyone is ginger. And so, so you want to make a master like every right. child who is not ginger 
and exterminate them. What? Well, not a mass of race, but a mass of appearance of everybody having the oh, same hair. Oh gosh. Hair. the night and take non-ginger kids from their homes. We will eradicate them all with cages and torches and a pit of lava to throw them all in. Oh no. See, Stan and Kyle, oh, no. you know, they were trying to do this so they can help help them learn a lesson, but now it just never just made things worse. You know, Carmen is an uncaring, bigoted, intolerant asshole, but I have to admit, I had my own prejudice about gingers. Dang, I think we all need too. to realize that everyone is different in one way or another, and we shouldn't be threatened by those differences. No, we shouldn't. I mean, Carmen actually had me kind of creeped out that gingers were going to come get me. That's the social commentary they're trying to Dang. do, like, don't yeah, make fun no, of people, or, like, you know. It's yeah, all good prejudice. underlying messaging, for yeah. sure. Oh my gosh, they look like they <laughs> Hey there. They look like they're possessed. You guys need anything? Let's just walk this way. Oh my gosh. When it comes to gingers, people red hair like... <laughs> more ginger kids. Yeah, man. They're coming out everywhere. Um, maybe you we should just go see more home. people, not just like people with like fair skin who has red hair. You see all different type of races of people have red hair. Oh, so. absolutely. What the hell do they want? Oh, Whoa. Kenny! Run, dude, run! Damn. They got Kenny. Yeah, he always gets taken. I know. Something always happens to him. Huh? Yeah, that would be creepy no matter yeah. what's out your window. Clyde, what is it, honey? <gasps> it took Clyde. So they're taking all the kids, That's pretty much. They said he told them to go in the night and take all the kids so that... Your kids! Exterminate them no! so they're the only <laughs> kids left. <laughs> what is it? It's a little ginger girl. <laughs> Shut the door! Door! <laughs> She's red-haired. She's, yeah, she's red-haired, too. I'm not trying to say she's like a different. Maybe because she'll got the freckles? Maybe. Because all the ginger kids, they sure have freckles. Ah, dang! Oh. What are these kids out going out on a I don't know, right? Show? And they're supposed to be like this little late? kids. There's a lot of them following them. It's also supposed to be like a parody of like, the Children of the Corn as well or something. Maybe like, I almost feel like it just feels like a zombie movie or yeah. something. My fellow gingers, the day of reckoning is finally upon us. Oh, he really has like a pit of lava to put them in. Yeah. You gotta be oh, Jesus, kidding me. It's almost like now nah, he he made a cult now. It's exactly what it is. That's what I'm saying. I don't understand how you guys he got everything you need in here. Need gets people coffee, to follow him. Items? What is no, up with this grown adult you. not doing that? He just like you got you He's just making sure he's got his good. customers okay, safe. Okay, hey, there. thanks for choosing the airport, Hilton guys. You're welcome to leave us alone. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome to leave us alone. Yeah. Throw him in, Carmen. I need to tell you something. Go on then. I say your last words. Them, yeah. I think you'd rather hear this in private. I don't okay, know. Okay, fine. Let him speak. But Cal really just wanted to save himself now. <laughs> Come on, let's fulfill the plan. All non gingers must die. Now, how's he gonna get yeah! out of this one? Oh my god, you guys. Uh, I just realized something. We shouldn't be doing this. <laughs> I mean, look at us. What have we become? <laughs> huh? Huh? D don't you see? If we now he's gonna backtrack. Everyone who isn't ginger, yeah. then we're no better than they were for thinking less of us. <laughs> but you just said everyone who isn't ginger must die. Yeah. Right, but but I've learned that we can't judge people based on what they look like. No, you but haven't. But you just said they should all die 15 seconds ago. Right? How do you change your mind that quick? That quickly. That kid right there, what did he just tell yeah. you? Yeah. Who, oh, him? Oh, no, that was just, no, that was about something else. Totally unrelated. If you wanted to kill everyone who wasn't ginger, then that kid in the green hat <laughs> told you something, and now you don't want to do it all of a sudden. What did he tell you? Uh-oh. No, he was just telling me about something funny that happened at school yesterday. He can't, he, he can't tell everybody that he, mm -hmm. nah, he's on no, the ginger. No, because then they're going to throw him in. They're going to attack him. Yeah, attack him. Hand in hand, we can live together, ginger or not. We're all the same. Black or white, oh brown my or gosh. red. We shouldn't kill each other because it's lame. It's not even convinced. Is this actually yeah. going to work? Yeah. yeah. Brown or red, we shouldn't kill each other because that is lame. Hand in hand, we can live together. Maybe he's probably the other one. Maybe. Mm, I doubt it. Well, he's doing it all for his own self interest. Really. You are yeah. such a manipulative asshole, asshole, Cartman. Yeah. Yes, but I'm not going to die. That's why we gotta get along, people. Oh my god. Martonius Jackson catches the ball. He's running down the sideline. Oh! Damn. Boom! Did you <laughs> see that hit? Boom! Jackson stopped at the 45. Looks like it's he supposed to be the Browns. Yeah. That was a great hit, boys. Remember that at practice tomorrow. Yeah, Jackson took a real shot, and I'm not sure what he's doing now. What is but, he doing? Uh, it appears as though he's looking for his keys, Dan. Yeah. Why would he have his keys in his, like, pants while playing football? 
doesn't even have a license. Do you think he knocked out that hard? Oh my gosh. But Jackson appears to think he's in a car driving home. They said he doesn't even have his license since his last concussion. Dang. And yet they're still letting him play. This boy need to retire, man. Apparently. He need to retire, man. Not good. This boy got hit so hard that he thought he was driving he, his like, car. He like was getting his keys out and pretend to drive a car. Oh, he is not, out of it. Now imagine what Randy finna do with the, the boys at practice. Oh probably. no. Well, there certainly are interesting statistics coming out, Dan, and, and we are deeply concerned. And, and oh, yeah. To see if there's <laughs> really any direct correlation between football and head trauma. Oh, my Lord. You know they don't seem to be too concerned if they're letting There's these people play. No. Martin Gregors, what the heck? Back Jim Harris. <laughs> oh, like he's all the guys that had a lot of players. concussions yeah. Yeah. play back in the day. Oh, and old sure hand Mike Taftill, who seems to be baking an imaginary cake, Dan. <laughs> yeah, not sure <laughs> oh, if that's snap. meant to be a cake or, or perhaps a, a loaf of bread, but he oh definitely thinks he's baking something. Boy, I just don't get football. Guess that's why I suck at it. You don't suck at football, Butters. You suck at all sports. Dang. Oh, dang. This no boy Butters like that. All right, all right, here you go, boys. Watch them on the kickoff, all right? Special teams are the most important plays. We don't have kickoffs anymore. What? Huh? What? The school said they're the most dangerous place, so they don't have us do them anymore. They don't have the kickoffs? The kickoffs are the dangerous ones? Whoa! It doesn't seem like that. What the? Randy? <laughs> <laughs> he said, nah, He's bruh. He's like, go nah. this now. With this PTA meeting, does anyone have any outstanding issues? Yeah, I'd like to talk about this genius oh, new rule in the football program about no kickoffs. Uh, yes, we've decided to go without kickoffs because of the concerns raised over concussions. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Why don't we have the players just wear bras? Bras? Bra? He yeah, the he players should bra? all wear bras. And instead of helmets, they should wear little tinfoil hats. Because, you know, it's the future and we shouldn't be so barbaric. Oh, you're all not getting it. See, while we're at it, we'll have a balloon instead of a ball. And whoever catches the balloon tries to run while all the other players hug. What? Huh. He's clearly being sarcastic. You know what I'm saying? He, he's joking. He's, yeah. Yeah. A sport where safety is all that matters? How about we call it Sarcastaball? <laughs> they say, oh, yeah, that might work. Would, would you mind being the coach of the South Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> they, they, they take him serious. I'd love to be the coach of the Sarcastaball team. Are they literally? Oh, my coach. gosh, they literally do. <laughs> Tin foils. Tin hats and a balloon. And they all hug. Okay. <laughs> Excuse me. Pardon me. <laughs> you guys look terrific. Wow, They're just gonna crazy. hug, so how could yeah. you not get it in the end zone? You're not gonna really have no other teams, <laughs> no. other school teams that's gonna participate in this. So you're happy with these changes? <laughs> happy? No. I'm thrilled. Oh, Look no. at how much better this is. Nothing is even happening. Nope. Oh, this is good. Nice for you all to turn out. He doesn't even really mean it, but yet he's turning all these other people as well. Yeah. That's what's crazy. Yeah, yeah, we're we're through with our kids getting knocked on the ground and tackled. <laughs> Let's make sarcastic ball the official school sport nationwide. And everybody's oh like, God. yeah, let's do it. But he's still joking and, you know. He is, yeah, but they aren't. Yeah, oh, oh man, my this God. guy. Yeah, yeah, oh, let's gosh. do that. We what? We the economy in the toilet, a big election coming up, but this country's number one priority should be making football safer. I mean, you sure want to make football safer and stuff. I know, like, a lot of players suffer, like... Oh, yeah, it's definitely a CTE problem. CTE from all those concussions mm -hmm. and stuff like that. I don't know what they can do better. I mean, it could be some people have the idea, well, maybe they shouldn't just... They shouldn't wear their helmets, and then they won't, like, be as They'll forceful. They'll protect their head normally. Yeah, they won't, you know, connect the head. Yeah, you know? I think that's I a little know. hard to say, though, because I think some people still would get some themselves still in bad it. situations. Yeah, so, so I, don't, don't. I don't know, man. Maybe in They the are future, doing a lot. They've done a lot of rule better. changes to the game, too. Yeah. To try to keep you from being able to, like, hit with your head. Yeah. But. Because people who do rugby and stuff, they kind of like they bang yeah, you each tackle. other. They tackle each mm -hmm. other and stuff, but they you just don't, really don't have use this. your head. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, there could be some truth to it, but I don't know. It seems. Yeah. It seems as the sport is as it is now, it would be yeah. hard to make that change. Yeah, they probably have to do some more rule changes and stuff like mm -hmm. that. Because even if I don't know, or maybe when technology get more advanced, maybe they can find a way where like a perfect helmet. Yeah, cushion. I don't know. I don't know. What, what, what do you guys think, man? Let us know in the comment section down below. And also, don't forget to thumbs up, video up, and subscribe. Mm -hmm. Obama, Michelle. I can't even remember if we're supposed to hug the fullback or compliment him. I'm so confused. This game is stupid. <laughs> I have no idea how to go out on the field and be as nice as I can to the other team. Yeah, you know what? Screw this. Hey, whoa! Well, I can't believe what I'm hearing. We've been practicing and 
getting ready for this game, and you fellas just want to quit. in this towel. <laughs> for token, you're nicer than anybody I know. And Clyde, don't you give better hugs than anyone out on that field? Oh my god! <laughs> you get the best hugs. Are we just gonna let North Park walk <laughs> away with the victory true. because we think they know how to be nicer than us? And if they give you two balloons, well, you give them three. <laughs> three balloons. Yeah. And when they try, hey, thank you for those balloons. You say, well, I don't need any thanks. I did it because it was the right thing to do. And then you give them a smile. Yeah. Mm. And when that other team tries to come at you, well, that's when you gotta reach deep down, right down to yeah. the creamy center. Well, that place, well, that place Ew. inside you, <laughs> where all the gooey, happy, loving goose sits, and you just gotta use that to be the nicest, <laughs> most compassionate player you've ever been, and let the world know that we will not go down so easy. Stan, hook up my bra. Stan, <laughs> hook oh it up. Be ready. Gosh. I am so thrilled to see our nation's youth embrace our cast ball over traditional football. Oh, but why stop oh there? Oh my gosh, Since this is becoming a national is so thing. Yeah. Barbaric, we should change too. So let's give a big <gasps> what? welcome to the new coach of the Denver Broncos, is it Randy Marsh. What? No way. <laughs> He's the coach? You, Commissioner, I'm thrilled to be a part They've of this. They've been changed the NFL. Hey, nice yeah. No, no, you nice going. How in the heck are the Broncos going to compete? And everybody's, ta yeah. this and everybody's taking them serious. Welcome to the inaugural game of the National Sarcastable League. It's packed, too. As we bring you... Oh, there, so there is more than one team, supposedly? I guess. He turned the whole NFL to Sarcastable. Oh, ball. my gosh. I'm hell, Coach. Loving, not shoving. Oh, yeah, good one. And now, here are your Denver whoop de f***ing Dooger! What? <laughs> what is there to cheer on, I guess? I guess you can still cheer for your team to win. I yeah, mean. but they don't even, like, do much. I love Sarcastabal. <laughs> it's so much better than football. I'm so glad they got rid of violence in sports. Cause Sarcastabal is so super fun to watch. Oh, oh my lord. But our big game with Lakewood is Saturday. I'm sorry. My dad is taking professional sarcastiball really seriously. <laughs> yeah, he is. So well, he's not going to coach them? them no, nah, I mean, I guess he's going to professional. Right. Now. Don't have a coach, Kyle. But I mean, you would think you'd find another coach. Yeah. From now on, your team, Captain Butters. You lead us to victory. Oh, gosh. Oh, jeez. No, no, I don't know, fellas. Butters, you understand this game better than anybody. Yeah, but I, I, I can't be team captain. I, I suck at everything. <laughs> not at this, you don't. What about that creamy filling you talked about? Ew. Creamy filling? Uh -huh. It sounds so horrible. Yeah, it sounds so gross, so boy. So bad. Creamy filling. It's overflowing, so oh, dude. It's overflowing. <laughs> You're the man. Butters, 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 I think I get, yeah. Butters, yeah. Butters, Look at him. <laughs> Love you too, lady. <laughs> oh my gosh. Leave him alone, Wendy. He's mine. <laughs> <laughs> he like, oh, like, so he wakes oh, up like it's a dream. He found his cream center, I bet. Oh, it happened again. Told ya. More of my creamy goo came out. <laughs> oh, well, uh, that's okay, Butters. Remember what we talked about? The boy creaming it up. Sometimes our happy, creamy feeling just gets so full it comes out at night. <laughs> I was having happy dreams about a goo. All right, Butters. <laughs> <laughs> Dad feels so He's awesome just like, don't want to know. Yeah. Save that for later. Ew! What is that? Put it in like a jar or a bottle. <laughs> Literally thinks it's his happy, creamy center. Yeah, he knows it's gonna probably dry up. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Lamar Woodley, he's giving the balloon to Woodley. The referee comes in. Oh, the referee is calling that a touchdown. Oh, wait, now another what? official is signaling that's a safety. Oh, yeah, now what? it's going, replacement <laughs> refs. They're gonna have to sort this. How do you even score in this game? I don't know. Yeah! Yeah! Crazy how they make fun of football and stuff. Oh my gosh. Coach Bilicek says, no way we can beat the Broncos. They've had the same coach for almost a day. Almost, almost a, a day. day. <laughs> I don't know what to do. Kids are starting to make fun of me because I'm no what? good at sarcastic ball. I suck at being nice and polite. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh man. And when I wake up, I realize some of my goo has come out. Oh geez, there's a lot this time. <laughs> but I always make sure I keep it. Just yeah, there's a lot this time. Oh, Butters. Oh, oh, man. You save it all? You say... <gasps> what? No. -uh. It come out every night, but I sure do seem to have a surplus of it. I don't see how he's able to keep Butters. that, like, fresh. Well, it's all, I guess it's all dried up. 
I don't know. I never really thought of it that way. Ew, 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 ew. He's gonna drink it. Ew. Oh. Oh my god. Nasty. Hmm. It's kind of a grapey, bleachy flavor. Do you feel warm and compassionate? Grape flavor? I guess he was eating grapes. Holy shit, I think I do. This boy's oh eight. my <laughs> gosh. A mouthful of frost. <laughs> Randy, aren't you gonna come join your family for dinner? Oh yeah, I've totally got time to do that, Sharon. In fact, how about strategies. Go and make a four-course meal for all of you? Check that. A seven-course meal. Randy, something's happened. Are you mm -hmm. unable to stop being sarcastic? I was gonna say he's oh, always yeah. sarcastic, I can't stop now. Being sarcastic now. I don't think he's even trying now. He's he not. Just, he just is. It. Right. He's doing something to my brain, <laughs> and now I can't stop being sarcastic. He literally can't be. No, he can't. Help me, Sharon. <laughs> 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 I guess, well, what? Mother's like the nicest happened? kid. That kid right, that's why they made him captain, because well, he he's going to be the best at it. Well, Butter said Token was the nicest kid, but... Oh, right, yeah, right, he did. Right, here you go. <gasps> oh, snaps. These boys finna eat. <laughs> I cannot believe they just did that. A cup full of they have frost. no idea what it is. I'm sorry, Mr. Marsh, but there appears to be permanent damage. Oh boy, this is So Sarcastic great. Ball just keeps getting better. is making brain How damage. Yeah, yeah. This that's crazy. You don't. I'm sorry. They're just isn't enough research in how sarcasm affects the brain. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you know, I have a 50-year-old Alzheimer's patient out in the waiting room who can't even remember his family, but Damn. let's forget about him and focus on how Sarcastaball might be damaging. Oh, he's dead. Dang. Right. He's out there playing that game. Let's get all the funding for cancer research and genetic diseases. Let's, let's take all that money and make commercials that say, Hey, America, sarcasm might not be such a great thing for your <laughs> brain. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> thank you, doctor. He just said thank you. Yeah. Like, it was a good thing. Oh, my gosh. I love Sarcastaball just as much as the next guy, but sometimes it's so thrilling, I need an extra burst of energy to get me through a game. That's when I reach for a <laughs> bottle of this. <laughs> oh, no. Butter's cream goo. You've got to be kidding me. So take your game to the next crazy, level. Ew. Butter's creamy goo. <laughs> You'll be filled with feelings of good tidings and be nice oh, than no. a Oh, all his face. On his face. <laughs> all on his face. Commitment. Oh, compassion, no. Do you think anyone anyway knows what it actually is? No. Pulling quart size. When I get hot, I know one thing can boost my compassion. <sighs> now I'm back in the game. Go and chuck a bottle of butter's creamy. Oh. Yes, sir. Just about room temperature. Oh my gosh, bro, y'all. So now they're making it like Gatorade. Yeah. Good job, kid. What? Dad. He just ran over a kid. Everyone, everyone listen. Nobody even is caring about the fact that a kid just got run over. Heck nah, they just worry about the game. Out, South Park. It's well, totally safe. that's how some fans are. They just care about the game and who wins. And yeah. Stuff. Listen, everyone. If you let your kids play sarcastic ball, you're a fucking genius. Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh. He can't do it. No. Everybody got the cup of um, butter's cream. We so should disgusting. have like 10 even. sarcastic ball leagues because then everyone. Mm. God. <laughs> Stanley, just get your things and come on. We're going home. Is it so hard to believe that we really enjoy a sport that has no violence? Is it so hard for you to believe that when Butter says competitiveness can be compassionate, he's being completely sincere? I don't see how anyone could play this game with any sincerity. That's because you're too grumpy and negative to believe it. <laughs> what you need is a sports drink that can boost your levels of caring. Ah, oh, snap. Oh, yeah, Dad, <laughs> you need some of this. This is cum. <laughs> Randy, no. <laughs> How did he know what it was? Just because people he try didn't know to make football a little safer yeah. by changing a kickoff rule doesn't mean you need to take it to, oh, why don't we just drink each other's cum? <laughs> Sarcasm like that is homophobic, chauvinistic, and completely lacking in maturity. Poor Butters. He had no yeah. idea what he was doing. What's sarcasm and what's cum? Talk about that when you're older. Come on, everybody. I knew it. Let's work on that kickoff change and get back to some football. What I don't get is... Oh, my God. How did was able to produce that much of it? Well, right? <laughs> Even, I mean, even, I guess he had that much saved, but still not for like the that mass much, producing. You know, yeah, yeah mass agree. producing of it. Oh, I don't man. know, man. Turns out the drink I endorsed was semen. Turns out a little kid was just being sarcastic. <laughs> oh my gosh. Cool Check that. I yeah, so they all thought he was doing it as like a yeah. sarcastic joke, but he didn't know. No. Nah. So why don't we have players in bras drinking semen? Yeah, that's a fastball right there. 
Man, y'all, what made them come up with this episode, man? I don't know, but like, it's what hilarious. Were they, what were they parodying? Dad! Hey, Dad! <laughs> what? My wiener is all stiff and pointy. <laughs> oh, well, Butters, that's just the friendly compass. See, whenever you have <laughs> the friends friendly in the area, compass. your little compass there tells you where they are. Thanks, Dad.